Okay, I'd like to share some important information. I'm Professor Joshua Ritchie, MD. I'm the Dean of the Rafu Institute. And I have done some, recently done some research on zinc. Um, we're now concerned about, in our day of coronavirus infections, and one of the ways of being able to deal with a coronavirus is by having enough zinc. If we're zinc deficient, we are more susceptible to the damage of a coronavirus infection. So it's timely for us to be aware of our need for zinc. So let me first say my credentials. Uh, I've done research quite a number of years ago actually on vitamin E deficiency and published this in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. And now everywhere in the world they're using zinc for newborns, uh, zinc, I'm sorry, they're using vitamin E for newborns in every hospital in the world because of the uh, work that I published uh, a number of years ago on the need for newborn infants, especially prematures, to get adequate number of uh, adequate amount of vitamin E, which prevents and saves them from damage. Uh, millions of premature infants had been damaged with blindness, brain damage, and even death because of the uh, inadequate amount of vitamin E that they were born with. So uh, I've now done some recent studies on the prevention of coronavirus and have found that zinc deficiency makes the severity of the coronavirus infection much worse. We're more susceptible to infection and we're more susceptible to the damage of the infection. Um, in certain populations, a significant number of people have a vitamin, have a zinc deficiency. Uh, to be sure of not having a zinc deficiency, we'll talk about uh, taking a supplement. The metabolic process that gives us resistance to infection is dependent upon zinc. And so to be, everybody does need to be sure that they're getting an adequate amount of zinc in their diet and often it's important to take supplements of 30 milligrams a day of uh, zinc if we're not very sure that we're getting it in our diet. To get it in our diet, we can try eating enough meat, dairy, oatmeal, nuts, seeds, fortified breakfast cereal, breakfast cereal that's fortified with zinc. We can take uh, multivitamins that contain an adequate amount of zinc. So it is possible to get zinc in multivitamins. It is possible to eat a diet rich in zinc, although it takes a bit of effort. Most people don't get, a lot of people don't get enough zinc in their diet. Uh, zinc is not expensive and it's not harmful in the uh, normal amounts that we would be eating or taking a supplement. The supplement of zinc is often in the range of 20 to 30 milligrams of zinc a day, up to about 40 milligrams a day. Uh, we don't need more than 40 milligrams a day, so somewhere between 20 and 40 milligrams of zinc a day will give us all the zinc we need, and this does give us protection. Um, the Again, the diet for zinc rich foods are meat, dairy, oatmeal, nuts, and seeds, and so on. Uh, multivitamins are good. So I do strongly suggest you make sure that you're getting adequate zinc in your diet one way or another, either through uh, fortified foods, the right type of foods, or simply by taking something like a 20 to 30 milligram uh, uh, supplement of uh, zinc, either alone or it's often contained in a, a multivitamin, a mineral uh, tablet. So this is, can be very important information. 
it, uh, zinc deficiency can be a significant problem. They easily correct it. It's uh, be nice if you would share, take care of this yourself for yourself and share this information with others. Wishing you all good health and a good life.